Travis Eastman, thank you for a five dollar super chat. Do you have an idea what remote idea module you plan on using? Um, so my pick, the one that seems to me, and like we could, I could discover that there's some hidden downfall that I'm not aware of, but the one that stands out to me is the drone tag DRI. And the reason it stands out to me is because it is completely self-contained and works with the existing GPS unit that you could put on your quad. So it has a connector for an external antenna, but it also has a built-in antenna. So you do not have to use an external antenna. So I can plug this little device in line between my GPS and my flight controller. I do have to add a GPS to the quad, which I don't do on all my quads, but okay. There's plenty of GPSs out there. They're small, they perform well. Sure, I'll bite the bullet and I'll put a GPS on my freestyle quads when I might not have done that before. You add this device, you don't need an external antenna. It's got a, it's fully self-contained and boom, you are compliant. And then you tuck the damn thing right up in the middle of your frame. So the little built-in antenna doesn't get any range and you're still technically compl technically compliant. You are compliant with the rules, but you're mitigating the impact. I'm obligated to comply with the letter of the rules. I'm not obligated to comply with the spirit of the rules or go beyond the letter of the rules to help the government enforce their regulations on me. So it seems to me like this is the lowest impact way of complying with the rules, both in terms of like the drone tech BS. Oh, shoot. The drone tech BS is, has external antennas. Oh, I don't see, that. there it is, drone tech BS. It has these external antennas. It's like, I don't like that. I don't want to put that on my aircraft. <coughs> I like the DRI. That would be my choice. At least today. I haven't tested it yet. 